a ripple breaks the water's surface, then stillness. Suddenly, a neck like a javelin shoots out from a lizard-like body resting on a sun-warmed rock. This is Tanistropheus, nature's masterpiece of absurd precision. Picture a body the size of a dog, connected to a neck that can stretch up to three meters long. This incredible neck is made of a few elongated, super-rigid vertebrae, giving Tanistropheus a truly bizarre yet effective structure. Its secret to survival isn't flexibility, but reach. By planting its hips firmly on a limestone shelf, it keeps its center of mass stable, preventing it from toppling over. With a subtle, calculated swing of its head, it can ambush unsuspecting fish and squid swimming near the water's edge. Its skull is built for one thing, and that's gripping. The narrow jaws are lined with curved, interlocking teeth, like a zipper, designed to hold prey tight, not to tear it apart. Its front legs anchor it to the rock, its hind legs provide stability, and even its tail dips into the water, acting as a perfect counterweight. You might sometimes spot one wading through a shallow lagoon, its belly just skimming the surface. But its most impressive displays happen right here, at the boundary of land and sea. It becomes a living cantilever, turning tiny head movements into a kill zone measured in meters. In this ancient aquatic theater, it competes with faster, more agile hunters like the Nothosaurs. But while they have speed, Tanistropheus commands geometry and precision. On stormy days, it reads the ripples on the water to find where currents stack up schools of fish. On calm days, the sun's glare on the surface hides its necks, slow, stealthy approach. Younger Tanistropheus, with their shorter necks, practice in sheltered coves on shrimp and small fish, honing their skills before graduating to the exposed rocky shelves where the real action happens. Their bones show slow, deliberate growth, an evolutionary path that favors finesse, over brute force, snap, lift, and reset. Forget the idea of a flexible, snake-like neck or a simple periscope. This neck is a rigid beam, reinforced by muscles and ribs that act like guy wires, minimizing any wobble. It's all about a perfectly timed strike. To truly understand Tanistrophias, think of a Huron, but with a serious dose of engineering genius. Imagine sitting on the limestone of Monte San Giorgio as the evening breeze stills the water. You see a reptile, crouched with immense patience, its head inching forward until it becomes one with the landscape. Then, a flash of silver, a firm clamp, and a lift. A successful hunt. It's a breathtaking display of specialized survival. If you enjoyed this look into the Triassic, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button, and let me know in the comments which prehistoric specialist you want to see next. Thanks for watching.